if I could turn red, I'll turn red right now. I don't know what to do. Okay, cool. A bit nervous. Hope the over is okay. Hey, I'm Lucy Naviscan, and I am going to be answering the internet, the www wibbly wobbly web phone. Oh. Toxic men be like, why can't you be pretty? Why can't you be skinny? MF. Why can't you be Lucy Naviscan? What? You said that? Naomi IG Spence. I appreciate that. I, I don't know what that means, but that's really lovely, actually. Can I keep this one? My mum. Cheers. Thank you. Lucy Lavis Count, as a personal trainer, you best believe in watching Peacock. You better go watch Peacock. Like, Peacock drops Monday night. BBC. Oh, no, no, this is probably the most hilarious, interesting life lessons if you want to put all that together in, in, in a kind of culmination jobs I've ever done. Um, I've never been on set and worked with people who just riff. The comedy is thick and fast. And um, these guys have no stop button. And I'm here today doing press and I'm still smiling. Like I'm levitated in and I'm levitating out. Really thankful to be in the mix of these boys and these girls. I'm sorry, but Lucien Aviscan in Emily in Paris, question mark, upside down question mark. Why did no one pre-warn me? Because damn, my ovaries. If I could turn red, I'll turn red right now. I don't know what to do. Okay, cool. A bit nervous. Hope the over is okay. <laughs> right, I'm like, this is okay. Lucy and Lavish Count in capitals, exclamation mark, question mark, question mark, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. That is simply the most gorgeous name I've ever heard. You know what? I'm really, really, my mum my and dad did well. Lucy and Leon Lavish Count. And my brother is called Louis Lamar Lavish Count. And my younger brother, bless him, is just called Jules Lavis Count. But, um, funny story, I couldn't see my L's until I was about, like, well, probably about four or five years old. So it was Lucy and we on Wabby's Count for a long time. Awesome, thank you very much for that though. There's nothing regal about me. There's nothing regal about me, but um, it's such a French name as well. My French isn't great. I'm getting better at it. Um, and I, I go back to shoot this show called Emily in Paris very soon. And I'm going to be in Paris and I'm going to learn French and I'm going to be fluent by the end of the year. But um, yeah, with a French name like that, I think I've got to learn to speak French. I know Lucy Lavis County is waiting to marry me anyway. I'm just too busy for him right now. Girl, what you be doing? Because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Beth Saunders, oh, hold on. It's even more important now. It's even more magical because I'm going to keep this piece. Someone else is going to keep the other piece, and together we're going to just when to become one. I don't even get clearance on this. I think it's a Spice Girls song. I hope you're old enough to know who the Spice Girls are, or else that would be really, really awkward. Me, me and Beth. Beth, I'm ready. Beth, um, oh, gotcha. Ba bum. The year Lucy and Iris Count was on Water the Road changed the entire trajectory of my life. Never have I loved a man the way I love Jonah Kirby. Jonah Kirby was a G. Like, that's going back. I, I'm not going to say how old we are now, because that was a long time ago. But um, yeah, that was probably one of the first jobs that I could say was so impactful for my life. I used to watch Waterloo Road growing up, and then when I was able to be on that show, I was like, yes, I made it. And all my dreams came true. And um, yeah, to play Jonah, Jonah Kirby was um, such a blessing. I don't know what happened to your trajectory of your life because I kind of got engaged with a teacher. So hopefully you didn't do that. It's illegal. <laughs> I hope your life's all right and you're not in jail. Be safe. Okay, hear me out. Emily in Paris season three. She's in love with Alfie. They go to London. London boy is playing in the background with a montage of them walking down the streets. Um, Darren Starr, Lily Collins. Uh, I think we've got a, um, yep, episode one, season three. Anyone? The most beautiful thing that has come from Emily in Paris for me is um, a young girl came running up to me t t today on the way here. And I, and I really, 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 really appreciate everything that the show's brought and to be part of it. And um, yeah, she asked me for a picture and she said, how's my day? And I was like, 
yeah, my day's going all right. And she was like, have a really good day and thank you for making my day and having this picture. And I was like, whoa. And yeah, like we're, we're, we're all human at the end of the day, but it really mean, it all means a lot. It really does mean a lot. <laughs> Next question. Whoa! Getting my ticket to Paris because Emily doesn't deserve outfit. I'm gonna save my man. You better get your ass over here, girl. No, I'm joking. Whoa, who is that? That's like, that's like a whole like, I think the Joker has got like, an, like a new nemesis. If that's me, then, then um, I know what my Halloween outfit's gonna look like. Come see me in Paris, actually. I'm gonna be there from the end of May till the end of August shooting with the gang. Thank you so, so much for having me. This has been beautiful, emotional, super emotional. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think of Peacock and season three of Emily in Paris. I'm Lisa Navis Count.